NFL rules. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> your thoughts on the rule uh, changes the yeah. NFL have implemented in recent years? Which ones are we talking about now? Um, but, I mean, all, all the the can't hit rules. Re yeah. I don't like them. <clears throat> Obviously, I'm a defensive guy. I don't like them, but I'll tell you what, they had to do it. You know, you got to so you protect. can understand it. I understand it 100%. Roger Goodell has a tough job. You know, that guy, I have a lot of respect for him because he has a tough job, but he does a good job. And, he, and is this you talking because you know you might be interviewing him no, at some point? No, because I know that I can't imagine doing what he does. He has yeah. to play both sides, you know. he has to, and, and the one thing I really like about what he does is, is there's no gray area with him. If you do this, this happens. If you do that, that happens. There's no in between with him. If you do something, this is going to happen to you. That's all there is to it. it. He's very stern, and I like that. I like to know if I screw up, this is going to happen. So don't screw up. You don't have to worry about it. But the rules, um, it's frustrating as a defensive guy because you cannot hit. You have to think about, before you hit someone, you better think about where you want to hit them and how you're going to hit them. And it's hard enough to tackle guys in this league thinking about, not thinking about that. You know, just normal rules. It's hard to get guys down now. And I just wish there was more rules for the defensive guys with the cut blocks and the crackbacks. And I know they're taking measures, but the cut blocks got to go. And then the offensive guys will say, you know what, we can't, we can't do what we want to do if we can't cut block. Well, you know what, we can't do what we want to do if we can't hit you in the mouth. Because our, our whole style is based on being physical. And if we can't be physical with you, then you know, that, that takes away from the way we want to do. Tell about why you would still lie to cover up a concussion. Because that's obviously got <laughs> yeah, in you know, a lot I of think, news when yeah, you said Yeah, it you know as a player when you're dinged up and when you're not dinged up. You know, there's, there's points in the game where you hit someone you're like, oh, f that was a good hit. Yeah. And you're dinged up for a second. And the NFL may deem that as, oh, that's concussion-like symptom. You're out. You're done for the game and the next game. When in reality, it was just like, whoa, man, you're going to get rattled sometimes. I mean, high school, it happens. It's football. There are going to be times where you get dinged up and you're like, dang, that was a good hit. And you kind of get blurry, but then two seconds later, you're fine. You know, I guess that's just, that happens. But there are times where you get a concussion, where you you're a, you hit someone, you fall asleep before you hit the ground or you get up and you don't remember what happened, you need to take a break. I understand so that. But just, that's where you would draw the where, line. Yeah, there. there's big concussions. No, you understand, as a player, we understand what, what the difference is. But there's times where you get dinged up during a game where you don't need to miss the next game because of it, I don't think. To, to what extent are you concerned about the lasting impact that playing could have on your life? Um, personally, uh -huh. none. I, I mean, I, uh, my body feels great. I know I'm going to probably have some joint issues when I get older. And mentally, I feel like I, I had one ma major concussion in my career. I'm, a lot of mini ones, you know, like I just told you, are getting dinged here and there. But I feel like I, I came out pretty, pretty good, you know, for the most part. There are some things I forget sometimes, but I'm a guy. That's what we do. <laughs> we forget things.